Hi, welcome to Passion for Plants. My name is Hannah and in this video we're going to be doing an art piece made from pressed hydrangea flowers. I had seen this piece um, just like on Google when I was looking for uh, wall art and I figured that I could remake it for a lot cheaper and just using stuff that I had as far as the flowers. I did buy these frames. I got these off of Amazon so I'll link them in the bio but they're just like a bamboo gold frame. So everything that you need, I've already um, gone out and pressed, I cut the flower petals and then I laid them down in the book. I use wax paper to line it. And um, so I have those dried. I'm gonna use some Mod Podge to attach the petals to the paper. And then the paper I have here, this is just old sketch paper that my mom had at her house so I didn't have to buy this. And then I have this little watercolor set that is for the stem of the piece because I pressed the leaves and the petals already, but the stem you can't really press. That would be kind of too thick. So I figured I would just watercolor that down the middle if it all works out. So I'll go ahead and show you the uh, flower petals. I'm going to cut this one off. You can see these are a little bit too aged. These are too dry. And this is what I want. This is the the green coloring that works out really well. So we'll just cut this whole bloom off and then I'll cut all these little pieces. So I have my wax or parchment paper, whichever you have here, and I just tear it so it's this long and then I'll push it in here and get it creased before I put anything in. And we'll just cut these right here at the base of it as close to like leaving as little stem as possible so like that so have just that tiny little stem there and you can do it either way i put face down on this side So you'll just lay them all face down as best as you can and they're not going to all be perfect. Sometimes you'll have curlier ones like this which will be a little bit harder but hopefully it'll go flat when you close the book. Okay now we'll just slowly close get these here. and you'll let this sit for a couple weeks or however long you need. So these are how they turned out. I really wanted the green ones. So instead of using the newer like blue or pink uh, flower petals when they're freshly blooming, I waited until they aged a little bit. And um, yeah, cause this is the color that I wanted and I'm really excited. I love how these all look. So I will take all of these, lay them out so I can see how many I have. I'll show you also the leaves that I pressed. So there's the leaves. These turned out great too. So I'll set these aside. Always do extra because sometimes they get folded or they just don't look right. So I always give myself lots of extra to work with. And these I just cut from the flower. I just picked right off the stem straight from here and just again put them in wax paper and close the book and it's been I don't even know how long a couple months and obviously you have to use pioneer woman because she's got some yummy stuff in here oh even more here I'm gonna put all of them on this white paper so I can see everything the reason you put wax paper is because sometimes they'll stick to the pages if you don't have something protecting them you can still pick them off but just a little bit more work and then you can see these here are upside down because they're a little bit lighter colored and this is right side up. Depends on what you want, but I would like them to be, oops, a little bit more colored. So I'm gonna turn these all over. I have the paper all cut. So all I did for that was take apart the frame and then I took out the insert that was already in there, the mat and I traced that 
with a pencil and then I cut it out so that I have the correct size so that I don't have to cut it out after. So we have this all here and I wanted to let people know that this doesn't take a whole lot of artistic talent because I was going through some of these from when I was younger and um, this, I was 12 when I drew this. Uh, here's my artwork here. So one would say I am not too artistic. The proportions we didn't quite figure out and I still would probably dry or color draw just about like this. So it doesn't take too much um, artistic skills. Yeah, a little scary. She's got about 50 teeth in there, but it is what it is. I wanted to show you guys also really close the difference of um, the front and the back of these. So this is the front here, and when I turn it over, you can see the tiny little stem that it came from right there. So you can just tell this has the brighter color over here and that's, that's what I want. Uh, tweezers are really good. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. So now I'm just gonna kind of lay this out. I wanna divide this into three so that I have the same amount for all of them. So I'll do that and kind of lay it out and just eyeball how I want this to look before I start gluing because then there's no going back. So after kind of playing around with this, um, I'm going to save one little flower cluster petal because when I do the watercolor stem, I'm going to, to paint it going down, but after I paint it and dry it, I wanna add one more petal to cover where the stem is gonna come out. So it's not just like I'm painting up into this petal or over it or something so that you can place this over where the stem would be so that it looks nice and polished. So I'm gonna set aside three, um, again, of these little flower clusters so that I have it for all three of my art pieces. And now I'm just gonna turn this over. This was my practice. And then I'm just gonna do it up here. I have them all here and I'll just take it and go. I'm gonna take my little Mod Podge. I just kind of use this for everything. It's matte, it doesn't really matter because it's just, it's just to adhere it so that it stays put when you put it in the frame. It's not gonna be moving that much because you know you have the glass protecting it. So we'll leave it like that. All right, I'm just gonna pour this into my lid so I have a little bit. And I'm just gonna dab this on the end of this watercolor brush and kind of just place it where I want it and go from there.
So I think I have my shape that I like here. It's kind of asymmetrical, looks like a hydrangea. It's not a perfect oval. So I'll add my top layer here now to fill in a little bit of these gaps. Just adding a few more on the outside to make it look a little bit less tidy, a little less perfect. Have a few poking up here. Look at that. That's looking good. Now we'll take the leaves. Now with these, I'm gonna be really careful with the uh, with the Mod Podge and not to put it on this because this is like tissue paper, like thinner than thin tissue paper. So I'm just gonna put it here just so it sticks enough because the glass, when it's in the frame, will hold it down. So kind of just want it like that. Just gonna take the glue here on the edge of this. And I'm gonna slide it under this just a little bit. Okay, so then I will draw the stem with watercolor once I finish all of these. And then I'll take the last little petal arrangement that I saved and I'll put it over where I'm drawing the, um, the stem. So it's gonna look like that. So let me do the other two.
I have finished all three of them. Um, I think they turned out really, really good. I like that they're all a little bit different. So now I'm gonna take my watercolor and make a color to kind of match the leaves here and just draw the stem. Lesson learned, use less water and more paint, so more pigment, because this one turned out a little bit better. It is lighter, but a little bit less water than this. So I'm gonna go back with a little bit stronger pigment here and just go over it. So there we go, that one looks good there. So let me just touch these up over here. Okay, lastly, I am going to put the three uh, last little flower cluster, petal clusters here. Here is the finished product. This project was so easy to do. As long as you have hydrangeas or you have a friend that'll let you cut them, you can dry them with some wax paper and then just glue them onto whatever kind of paper you have, paint some a stem, or you can dry a stem too, that would work. Um, but it's, it's a fun project, anybody can do this. I'm really happy with the results and this is a lot more affordable than some of the stuff that I saw online, so that's always good too. So I hope that I inspired some people to give this a try. This is gonna go in a bedroom. I'm gonna put it on the wall above a bed, but you could also have these standing like I do here. Um, but I will try to link everything that I used, uh, the frames, the paper, the watercolor, in the link in the bio. So uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.